is up welcome back to another art vlog this time around i just kind of wanted to share with you guys uh something totally different and working with alcoholic inks alcoholic alcohol inks and resin over the holidays i was just pretty much off of social media mainly and just trying to get find inspiration and creativity again it's been really tricky uh to be honest because you know i spend most of my days inside and you know a lot of restrictions are happening here where i live so it's kind of hard to stay sane in the membrane right now but more recently you know i needed to get some inspiration and i took some time away to spend time with family in ottawa and so i went to a museum and it was so so worth it oh my gosh like i went with my cousin and i just got a lot of inspiration and i basically was ready to get back into creating and i know museums are no longer open right now especially like where i live um but if you guys can get some sort of creative inspiration through you know watching like a really cool film or show or just like looking making like a pinterest mood board or something just to kind of keep it going um but yeah like lots of things pretty much happened i'm working in a new studio uh, with the help of my dad actually we renovated one of the rooms in my parents house to a art studio and so uh, it's kind of nice to get away and have a space where i could have all of my uh, materials and it's been kind of hard to work in my room because with alcohol inks and resin it's a lot of toxins in the air and a lot of fumes um so you gotta you gotta put safety first i'm just um experimenting um doing alcohol ink on wood which i never thought would be a thing because usually you would use like yupo paper um, and i've like delve into this beautiful world of abstract art and alcohol ink and i've found so many like lovely creators and i've learned so much over the past few months about this so i saw somebody on tiktok um doing alcohol ink on like a wood panel so i thought i'd try it my out myself and i actually ended up really liking it and today i just basically wanted to experiment with like different colors and i always love experimenting because i I don't really know what the end result's gonna be and it's fairly fun and exciting and i actually ended up loving this piece i really really loved it and it just made me feel so like happy creating this and taking the time <laughs> Essentially, like the next day, I decided to uh, try out on just a, a smaller canvas with um, gesso painted all over just to experiment and kind of see. I do find that the alcohol ink moves around a lot more. I basically just wanted to experiment with like this green color that I had, but it ironically ended up turning like a bluish turquoise color, which I, I wasn't mad about. Um, yeah, it was just really cool to just like, again, play around.
this is the next day uh, of course it's really important to wait for everything to dry i usually recommend like 24 hours and it's really good to just take your time because we tend to get so fixated on a piece of artwork and it's hard to keep going when you've been staring at something for too long and for me that was the case i was staring at this piece for way too long so i needed a break and good thing like i had everything dry and i was ready to work on the resin and this is something that is i'm also learning as well you have to also make sure safety first so wear gloves and a respirator mask even though a lot of brands say like non-toxic i always still recommend wearing a mask um, because you just never know. It was my first time working with resin and my god, it was like so messy um, But really fun. I kind of felt like a kid again and um, I was just using like a heat gun as well as a blowtorch and Just popping out the bob the bubbles in the resin I was like experimenting too with the new materials and you know with the blowtorch. I actually ended up um, putting it way too close to the canvas and it actually burned some of it so you gotta be careful with that um and it, and it definitely changed the outcome of the turquoise piece and then again i waited um another 24 hours and then the next day i just sanded down the back and um i believe next time i'm gonna use tape so i don't have to worry about like the drips also if you guys do alcohol ink feel free to give me some tips um that helped you out with like resin and everything um this piece actually there's some places where the resin didn't fully sit in um but the other piece i'm really happy about i'm actually going to be selling this to a special someone so one of my favorite pieces is my baby but i'm gonna be making more um so yeah that is everything that i have been up to and uh i hope you guys are staying well and being creative as much as you can um, during these times and i hope you guys enjoy this art vlog i will catch you in my next video have an awesome one take care bye